Hello and welcome. This is sets video number eight and today we are learning what is a power set. Now let's take an example of any set. So let's write a set like uh, maybe A, set A, and say it has the elements number one, number two, number three. Now what we want to do is we want to find out all the subsets of set A. Well, we can say that this set actually is a subset of A. We can say this is a subset of set A. Why? Because this set contains 1 and 1 actually exists in A. That is a definition of a subset, right? Similarly, we can say that the set containing just the element 2 is also a subset of A. Similarly, we can say that this also is a subset of A. All right. Now, what about if we take two elements together, 1 and 2? Is this set subset of A? Answer is yes, because this set contains 1 and 2, and we have 1 and 2 here. So similarly, we can say 2 and 3, and we can say 1, one and 3. So all of them are subsets of A. Right? Now, what about the set that has 1, 2, and 3? Of course, this is also a subset of A, right? And remember, when we were learning about subsets, we talked about how an empty set is a subset of every set. So this is a empty set. We, we can write it like this or we can write it like the symbol phi. So this is also a subset of A. And this is basically the set itself, right? So are there any other possible subsets of A? Let's see. So we have written the number one as a set, number two as a set, number three as a set. Then we have taken two numbers together as a set and then three numbers together and the null set. There are no other sets that we can find which can be a subset of A. Now, all of these sets combined is called power set. So power set, we write it as uppercase letter P, P for power. And then within bracket, we write the set. So power set is simply a collection of all these subsets. So power set, if I were to write it like this, it will contain set one. I should say the first one, second one, third one. Let's write it over here. And then we have these three sets. So let's write 1, 2. Then we have 1 and 3. And then we have 1 and 2. I think I wrote that twice. So I should have written 2 and 3. Let's make it 3. And then we have 1, 2, 3. And don't forget the null set or the empty set or void set. So this collection that we have just written, which is a set of sets, meaning a collection that has all possible subsets of the given set. This collection is known as a power set of A. So how do we define it? So power set is defined as a collection of all subsets of any given set A. Also, we write the power set as uppercase P within brackets A for the actual set. And now, if you also notice the number of elements which are in power set, it always is of the form 2 to the power M, where what is M? M is the number of elements in set a. This is always true and you can check it for yourself. So if you were to quickly go back and take a look at our example here. So M is the number of elements, right? So M basically is the number of elements in set A. We have 1, 2, 3. So here M is 3. So power set will contain how many elements? So in other words, if you were to do the number of elements for power set, this will look like 2 to the power 
m which is there are three or it will be eight so let's see if there are indeed eight elements in power set so this is our first element one two three four five six seven eight indeed there are eight elements in our power set eight 